Hey, hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome. It's Kanisha. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you are not new, welcome back, my loves. Welcome back. I wanted to talk a little bit about why I think price increases will be going up. I want to talk a little bit about why I think this will happen. So it is a theory. And as someone who, again, comes from a background of finance, I care about more about being mindful with my money and the luxury items that I decide to splurge on with that money. The matter is I'm very particular in how I choose to spend my money as a result of the different business strategies, transactions these luxury brands have been making. So I wanna break down this article that I saw in the business of fashion. It definitely plays a role into my thinking why we are probably going to be seeing price increases, probably if not this year, by some of our favorite luxury brands, then next year. And I'll talk a little bit about why. Oh, you guys are not gonna believe this. This next article that I saw around Chanel and Louis Vuitton, and I wanted to get into this because I said to myself, look, here comes some price increases. Y'all don't even know, but it's on its way based on what we are seeing coming so let's talk about this article because when i tell you i couldn't believe this i was just like you know what here we go again chanel here we go again louis vuitton here we go again carrying aka gucci i'm tired of it so let's read this article chanel is in talks to purchase a building on manhattan's fifth avenue joining the competition among the world's top retailers to snap up spots on new york's iconic luxury shopping corridor Chanel is in competition. Oh my gosh. Chanel is in discussions to buy 745 Fifth Avenue. According to a person familiar with the matter, the brand is competing against LVMH, Moet Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, which has also been in talks to acquire the building at the corner of 58th Street. The person said asking not to be named, citing private information. Okay, whatever. A spokesman for Chanel declined to comment, of course. Spokesperson for LVMH and landlord declined to comment, of course. Global luxury retailers have been competing to own buildings on Manhattan's Fifth Avenue in recent months. Gucci owner Karen said it purchased a building for, get this, get this, oh my God. What does that say? Nine, six, three, hundred, <laughs> nine hundred sixty three million dollars earlier this year. Are we not in 2024? What do they mean earlier this year? As in this year, first quarter, I thought we heard tell that carrying stock was plummeting. I thought we heard tell that Gucci sales were plummeting. My friends, <laughs> let me tell you what this means. Let me tell you something. These brands are out of control. And the fact that they are competing with each other to find and land real estate is a testament to the future of increased prices coming. Please understand, if they're continuing to buy what they consider to be ideal placement for those who consume luxury in New York City, which is said to be one of the most places to have real estate. But why is everyone leaving New York City? Why is everyone leaving New York City? Because they can't afford it. So these luxury companies are saying, well, we're not catering to those people. We're catering to the people who are still here, who say they can afford to be here and shop at multiple locations around Louis Vuitton, AKA build a network, build reputation, build a, um, a buying history, if you will. And that's who we're catering to. Understand lovelies, <laughs> understand that means we're in for a, another journey with price hikes and price increases. And that's one of the reasons that why. means we are in for a price increase. We've seen Chanel doing it. Have we seen Gucci? Let me think about this, Gucci. I actually was going to do a video about some Gucci items that I had seen lately that I thought were kind of nice. 
on trend, um, probably I would not say worth the price, unfortunately, um, especially because I do think that, yeah, Gucci's prices, so long on YSL, like them, has been on this incline that I'm not entirely sure is worth it. When we talk about bags being worth it, in my opinion, as somebody who's got the financial background, I'm sorry to tell you, but if I can't sell you down the road and make what I paid for you back or close to it, that is not worth it in my mind, in my opinion. So that's the reason why you do not see me unboxing everything there is under the sun is because at the end of the day, I look for what can I pass on to the next generation that will still have value. And while I could say that a Speedy or uh, not, not the Speedy, a Speedy in Canvas, a graceful MM could be passed on. At the end of the day, it's in Canvas. And if we start saying, well, Louis Vuitton is starting to make higher end leathers and Hermes is starting to, is continuing to see a price increase in their quota bags those are investments those are things that stand the test of time those they're not in terms of stock market investments consider these like art consider it like art my friends okay art is something that luxury enthusiasts people who are ultra rich buy in order to diversify their portfolio so just consider it as that hello darling hello <laughs> saying hi to all my friends so so yes i did come off of Ben island i had been on break i would say all of january i would also say part of february probably all of february and then i saw some things happening in march or some things that were not available until march and april that and May are now becoming available. So I said, okay, I'm hopping off because I'm not interested in whatever future price increases are to come. I'm not interested. And so I just wanted to put that out there for those in the community, the luxury community who were wondering like why I would have a title labeled like this is because I read this article. I understand what it means at the end of the day. It just means that, you know, we're going to see, we're going to see this, these, Prices passed on to consumers. That's what it means. And then it says entities tied to Prada were behind the $835 million purchase of two buildings nearby, Bloomberg News reported. So there you have it, you guys. When we talk about price increases coming, this is an indicator. Consider that a warning sign down the road. If it doesn't hit this year, believe you me, it's coming. All right. I want Canadian pension fund recently sold their almost vacant skyscraper downtown Manhattan for a single dollar maybe these buildings are cheap right now hmm that is an interesting thought to consider but when i took a look at that article saying that gucci just spent 900 million Prada just spent 800 million believe you me chanel and louis Vuitton are not paying for those buildings for a dollar especially because we already saw the article talk about where they've already spent uh, around the world on real estate we know we know it's millions we know it we know it's coming so just don't be surprised and caught off guard with any um price price increases being passed along to us as we see the elevation in the prices with the new products that are coming out which by the way Feel free to drop your comments on whether or not you want us to talk a little bit about because I was in LV and I saw some new things. I would have to put a video together to, to be able to share what I saw. Um, but some of the shorts that I did do recently, we can also talk about, like, for example, I saw the Dauphine, the soft Dauphine. And um, one of our subscribers, one of our community members did ask if I was interested in that bag. And I said, not sure. I'm not sure that the Dauphine is a good bag to invest in invest i know we hate saying that word invest but again my definition is something that i spent money on right now that is worth more later if i want that money back i can get it back okay um and even if you're investing in like real estate you can lose your money if you don't pay your mortgage if you invest in a deal 
and it goes bad because for whatever reason you thought someone was going to be able to sell something and they couldn't, you could lose all your money. Those are still investments. You could put your money in stock market and lose all your money because the stocks go down. Companies fail all the time, go bankrupt. You could lose your money. Can you lose your money with your bags? Is it not good to diversify your artwork selection? This is how I consider it. I'm diversified. I want to be diversified. So one of the things you may have noticed me doing recently was selling a lot of bags and it's because I've been buying. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited. So that'll be coming. Just been very, very hectic, but it was good to hop on for a little bit and have a conversation and I will talk to you guys soon. Until the next time.